Whether it's a nuclear submarine, a jet engine for a fighter, a futuristic fast attack helicopter, or the final frontier. It all started with an idea, a drawing, a sketch, a base model. But now, now the idea starts in 3D space, defined in a model where it can grow and change and live in a digital stream of ideas called model based definition. Whether a submarine or a helicopter, the application of model based definition technology will enable every part on this aircraft from design to manufacture to inspection to be made smarter. Model based definition is the digitization of the entire product process. So, what it does is it, it streamlines it, it's much more efficient, it's much more cost effective because you're going to eliminate errors, and it really is going to revolutionize the relationship between our large OEMs and the supply chain. MBD driven workflow in the manufacturing process saves an order of magnitude of time because MBD technology inherently forces processes to be repeatable and reproducible. It's a technology and a discipline and a practice that will set your company up for success. Companies that leverage model-based definition are able to create better efficiency in their manufacturing process. We're taking human capital and putting it into a better serving role. So that way we're allowing the computers and the design and development of your manufacturing product be done all encompassing in this single source of truth that is your MBD file and taking it through that life cycle of manufacturing. My name is Brittany Ishwood. I'm the president of Burke Aerospace. Burke Aerospace is a manufacturer of both aerospace and industrial gas turbine components. Typically what you would do is you would get a drawing and then you'd create a model and then you'd go back to the OEM and you'd ask, hey, does this model, is this line up with what you think it should line up? And then, you know, there's some discrepancies. So then when you actually get the part in the door, you're like, this doesn't match the the model you know and so then you spend this time going back and forth to create a model to match the part that matches the print to then develop a program that may not be matching all of those because they're all a little bit different where that guesswork is all taken away with model based definition going forward now it's cut it down by two months right off the bat just from model based definition as you apply model based definition in your practices it's a very short time before you start seeing your return on your investment you're immediately seeing the cost benefits because every Everybody's working together in real-time data. Our credibility is really based on what we deliver. And what we deliver is based on what the people do. You know, so we're only as good as our people. Chancellor White, Vice President, General Manager for Warrant Leonard, Connecticut, we make electric motors as well as controllers within the naval vessels. Our folks care about what they do, and quality is of paramount essential, consistently delivering the right product every time. If you have a 3D model, you improve your efficiencies in 3D and understanding all different sides and so forth. Now we can ensure that it's going to fit in the end product and not have errors. The 2D models have errors. And the fact that I can use the tools, have the workforce that's proud to actually engage in these tools to deliver a reliable product and solution makes me feel great. I'm proud to be American. In the supply chain, it's going to be, uh, some of them will have the big aha moment. Some will have this moment of fear and trepidation, right? They're going to say, oh no, what is this? How am I going to do this? And that's where, that's where CCAT comes in. That's where other partners come in and be able to put together the playbook, be able to give the resources for manufacturers. So we want the light bulb to go off, have their aha moment, and then basically say, oh, wait a minute, I can relax because, you know, we've got this covered. We've got a plan for this thing. And as our customers are increasing their investments in technology, why wouldn't we? We need to be able to do that to keep up with them because if we're not going to do it, somebody else is. My name is Brian Montanari. I'm the president and CEO of Habco Industries, and we're an aerospace aftermarket design and manufacturing company. We just said, okay, we've got this contract. We want to win it. We want to drive the cost down. We want to increase the efficiency so that we can have greater throughput. Pratt or Collins or Sikorsky, some of the cool technology that they're doing as they look at some of the models that we could use where we can partner on the software side where we can take their models, put it right into our programs and go from there. And it shows the OEMs that we're willing to partner and even just not just partner with them from a technology standpoint, but there are other agencies in the state like CCAT who help provide some of the funding for companies like us to be able to stay competitive and invest in that. It's so important for companies to become early adopters. We have many supply chain companies here in Connecticut that are taking advantage of working with Nasir and our team to be able to 
you know, educate and enlighten and have them adopt model-based definition into their practices. As the fourth industrial revolution accelerates, a company's ability to manage and utilize data becomes a critical business requirement. I think the big thing is now when you get into model-based definition, historically you would measure a part against a 2D blueprint. We are now compiling it all in one single source of truth, which is this model that we start from. I'm Pete Marabella. I'm with Metal Finishing Technologies out of Bristol, Connecticut. We're a metal finishing house. We focus on overhaul and repair for aerospace and defense. We're just collecting a lot more information, storing it, organizing it, making it searchable. You're getting the information real time, and you've taken a lot of the labor out to gather that. So now we've got a good diagnosis. Now the engineers, whoever the owner of the part is, can make a decision, and you can immediately move to the repair. You're taking something that could take weeks down to days. And that's really when you start to get leverage. If you can take a part and extend its life, you can repair it and return it to service. Uh, so much better for the environment, so much better on lead time uh, and your fleet availability, which any OEMs that are listening or any operators will know, that is really critical to the success of any enterprise, whether it's military or commercial. Early adopters that make investments in digital technologies like model-based definition will have a leg up on the competition. Less problems in your workday model-based definition. If we can eliminate problems in the workday of you know, communication back and forth with the customer, there's miscommunication, prototypes that are done wrong, and then again improve quality of the product delivery, it's just a home run for everybody. MBD technology enables a company to work with real-time accurate data to reduce development costs and cycle times, increase throughput, improve quality, and risk mitigation throughout the engineering and manufacturing process. The ability to move files seamlessly between us and our customers, it's critical. Nicole Russo, CEO and President of Microboard Processing. And we are a high-tech manufacturer of electronics for the medical, defense, telecom, and industrial sectors. Without model-based definition and 3D capability, we would not be able to do our job sufficiently here. We are inspecting parts as they arrive in a 3D format. We're inspecting product live as it's running through our facility in a 3D format. And then we're inspecting it as it departs the building in the same manner as well. Customers are looking for real-time, accurate data. Without the ability to partner uh, software and the robotics and the 3D together to give to a customer a live uh, conformance report, a live quality report of what, what we've seen, uh, and then they can understand what they're going to see at their dock. We can get more done virtually by sharing these files with our suppliers and our customers in a format, a 3D format, a robotic format, a quality data-driven format that's going to allow us to really grow our businesses together in a quicker manner. Don't do it alone. It's daunting if you try to think about on your own how to go off and do it. There are so many companies around, and I'm sure outside of the state as well, there's other, other agencies that you can turn to and other OEMs that you can go and, and benchmark. You have no choice in this industry but to go up. If you're not investing in new technology, um, getting on board for model-based definition, getting on board for additive manufacturing, the OEMs are not going to need you anymore. It's easy to say, right, that, oh, just invest, it'll pay itself back, but some smaller businesses the size of Burke may not have those funds to do that. So my recommendation always is go see what's out there for grants, what there is for funding, because the state of Connecticut is wonderful. They have all these resources, you just have to have the initiative to go out and use them. Leaders of companies, CEOs and CFOs, have to make critical decisions every day. When you look at capital requirements, model-based definition has one of the lowest barriers to entry. It's software. You can implement software into your manufacturing processes that will immediately drive costs, drive efficiencies, improve performance throughout your whole organization. It's mission critical to be focused on the men and women that are supporting our freedoms, that are our freedom fighters, that are putting their lives on the line every day and relying on technology and products that have been manufactured here in the United States and going and becoming dispersed to wherever service branches that they are across any part of the world. So for us to be able to leverage technology and ensure not only their safety, but the safety of, and robustness of these products, there's nothing better.